Good morning. Thank you to the members of the media for coming. Thank you to the Evans family. Thank you to County Executive Thomas P. Gordon, Chief of Staff Samuel Guy, Director, Director of Public Safety Joseph Bryant, Jr., Director of Communications Antonio Prado, Councilman Penrose Hollins, Councilman George Smiley, Councilman Jay Street, Division of Police Colonel E. M. Setting, Division of Communications Chief Jeffrey Miller, Division of EMS Chief Lawrence Tan, Deputy Attorney General Brian Robertson, and Bob Mooney from Delaware Crime Stoppers. Thank you for being in attendance. We're here today to announce the arrest in the murder of 19-year-old Malcolm Evans. As you'll remember, during the morning hours on July 9th, Newcastle County Police responded to a shooting that occurred in the community of Rutledge. Throughout the investigation, detectives, in conjunction with Delaware Crime Stoppers, received tips from the public regarding this case. On August 24th, the investigation continued with the arrest of Cheryl Jennings, 46 of Newcastle. There is no evidence at this time to indicate that the victim and defendant know each other. Cheryl Jennings was charged with first degree murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a person prohibited due to a past felony conviction. She was arraigned and committed without bail to Baylor Women's Correctional Institution. I'll now invite Colonel Setting to the podium for comments. Thank you and welcome. And uh, I just want to take a minute to point out that we have other homicides that are open and get the message out to our community that giving anonymous tips and working with your police department can pay off. And I want to say that this is one of those cases where there is clear evidence that Crime Stoppers and putting reward money by our council and our county executive has proven uh, very fruitful. This was a tragic case, extremely sad for the Evans family, a bright young man's future cut short. But uh, I have never met detectives as dedicated as the ones that we have here in the Newcastle County Police. And I know it's a team effort by all officers, but these detectives are unprecedented. In all my travels and in all my years of law enforcement, I've never seen any officers committed to a case like these officers are. And it's not just this case, it's every case. But this one did strike a particular chord. Everyone felt uh, very, very compelled to do absolutely everything they could in this case. But the most important thing I'd like to point out with an exclamation point is that we need information from our community. And in this case, the community came through, and I thank them for that. Again, uh, I want to thank our council and our executive for putting reward money forward. I don't know that the reward money is the driving factor here, but the point is communication is. And with the help of our own community, we can solve these homicides. We don't have to have this senseless violence. What happened here is the epitome of a tragedy. And I, uh, I think that it's very evident to see what the family is going through and, and how much they've suffered through this particular loss. Okay. Thank you, Colonel Setting. Now invite County Executive Gordon to the podium for comments. I'm going to defer. More to come up. Yes, sir. Ms. Evans. Uh, Ms. Evans had indicated that she did want to speak today, and uh, but you can imagine the emotional toll that this is taking on her and the rest of her family. It is a very, very passionate and. and painful case and for this family it, it, it uh, is evidenced. We're just going to give Ms. Evans uh, a moment to decide what she would like to do as we're just respecting her wishes that she would like to speak today. Good morning. My name is Terry Evans and I am the mother of Malcolm Jordan Evans. Unfortunately, my husband couldn't be here uh, due to prior commitment. Over the last six weeks, my family and friends have spent so many sleepless nights wondering who and why someone would commit such an unspeakable crime 
against such an amazing young man. Thank God for giving everyone the strength to pursue the individual involved on a daily basis. I'd also like to thank for their dedication and hard work. Newcastle County Executive Tom Gordon, Chief Elmer Setting, and Lead Detective Jeff Sendak, and the entire Newcastle County Police Department. Um, uh, for giving us the answers that we need to help us sleep at night. I can't ex begin to explain how much it means to us that this case became so personal for so many people, knowing that Malcolm wasn't just our son and brother, but he was everyone's son, brother, nephew, cousin, and loved one. Again, again, great job to everyone involved in the apprehension of the person involved in Malcolm's murder. And we will never forget it as long as we live. This is my son, Miles. Hello, everyone. My name is Miles Evans. I was Malcolm's uh, brother. Um, I would just, yet again, I'd just like to reiterate the um, point that my family is grateful for everything that the Newcastle County, that Newcastle County has done in a time of such grieving and pain. Um, with this arrest, um, the residents of Rutledge and our family can sleep better knowing that a murderer isn't roaming our streets. Um, and on my brother's behalf, I would um, personally like to thank um, everyone who put countless hours towards the apprehension of this person. Um, in, the trials of in the trials and tribulations um, in Newcastle County's, um, sorry, during our trials and tribulations as a family, Newcastle County has never stopped to be there to support us. Um, and throughout this whole situation, we've had the undivided attention and support and love of everybody in this community. And as a family, we can't thank you enough. And it's moving forward in time, we should all, we should be able to give the same support to families who are grieving or who have lost the same way that we've had. Uh, thank you. This concludes our news conference. Thank you for coming and thank you for your time. This time, we're unable to take any questions due to the fact that this remains an active investigation. Thank you.